Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to a new Let's Play sort of thing called Don't Starve. Um, you may already have heard this, or seen the game, or heard about it, but um, I'm going to do a Let's Play of it anyway. So, um, you start off with... It's very similar to Minecraft and other games like that, except it's also got different aspects to it. It's difficult to explain, but... Um, so I'm just going to go right in and show you. Um, you start off with one out of these... One, two, three, four, four, no, five. You start with one out of five characters, um, and then you unlock them, the other characters with XP and levels and that sort of thing, which you only get when you die, which is an interesting mechanic, but... It's just how it is. Um, this is still in early beta, and it's twelve dollars on Steam at the moment. Um, so I encourage you to buy it, but things may change. Like the research system will change quite a bit. See those up the top are research points, which we'll get to later. So this is how the game starts. His Maxwell is some sort of demon, um, and the character, the first character's name is Wilson, by the way. And so you need to start by picking up grass. This is grass. Um, saplings and flint and berries and that sort of thing. And as the name suggests, um. The, one of the main aims is not to starve, so we've got to collect food of various sorts so as to avoid starving. Um, yeah. That's a boulder, but we need to make a pickaxe before we can attack that and get its resources out. So, the sort of, it's, it's very tech tree, it's a very tech tree game. Y you start off the sort of starting objective is to make a science machine and that will unlock extra recipes of crafting for you and that sort of thing. But to do that we need a pickaxe. And so you mine by just simply clicking. Every every operation in this game is performed by clicking. Um, so yeah, you click on the rock um, to get its resources out. I'll probably play until I'll probably play one day per video. So that'll be like seven minutes or something. I'll play until it uh until day two, yeah, I think. Okay. Um so yeah. I made, so I've got my pickaxe, and that automatically equips into the uh, slot there. And so you have three slots that you use, or active slots, or whatever you want to call them. Um, one for a tool, which is the tool you're using at the moment, you can only use one. One for a body piece of armor, and one for a hat. Which, now, you can't make any hats from the start. Um, the things you can make at the start without doing any research are these three. Um, I've researched these things. Because um, research, it's, it's kind of odd. It currently carries over to your... Um, carries over between saves. Um, so yeah. And we'll see how far I can get into this game. Um... Yeah, so I picked up carrots and berries and stuff, and I should probably make an axe now, because I have plenty of flint. So you right-click to equip it, and yeah. So I'm chopping down this tree now, and it gave me pine cones and logs. Um, and you can use pine cones to make smaller trees, and they'll eventually grow into bigger ones, and then they'll die after a while. Um, so I haven't been recording a lot lately because my microphone 
has been broken, but it's decided it's going to start working again now, so I'm quite happy about this, and so I can use it again, and so I should be uploading videos soon. Well, obviously I'm uploading this one, but I should be uploading more and more after this. And when it gets dark, you'll need to make a file. Um, yeah, you'll need to make a file um, so that you don't die. Because in the darkness, you will die, pretty much. It's just pretty much what happens. Um, there are lots of different sources of foods. There are rabbits, which can give you some meat. See, this is how I like to take down a rabbit, so I'm going to assume that this is its hole, because when you attack them, they automatically run back to their hole. And so you stand between them and the hole, and then when you attack them, they'll run towards you, because they're not very smart. Right, let's hope that we get some gold nuggets out of this, because the science machine requires one gold nugget, four logs, and four rocks. And see, now it's twilight, it's getting dark, and so I'm going to need to start making a fire soon, but because I know the recipes for fire and that sort of thing quite well, because I've played this game a lot since I got it, um, um, there's a very good demo on the Chrome store of this game, because I have the Steam version, but you can also get it on Google Chrome, um, in case you didn't realize that. And the current version is just as good as this, except I prefer to get things on Steam, because it's just a safer way to buy things. Yeah. So I'm going to make my fire now. I'm going to build it here. Yep. Now, I can't make the science machine, because I don't have a gold nugget yet. So at night... Um, ah, seeds. Um, at night... I generally like to cook the food that I have on the fire, food that I found during the day, and then supplement my hunger that I've lost during the day, because um, otherwise I'll starve. See, I'm eating the carrots now, and I'm on a reasonable amount of hunger. Um, so yeah, I might end the video here, um, and so, actually no, I'll wait until the quick save pops up, because um, it doesn't have dynamic saving, which is an annoying thing, you can on it only auto, it auto saves at the start of twilight and the end of night, or dawn, or whatever you want to call it, um, so yeah. I'll, next, in the next video, I'll probably make a science machine and show you how to start researching. Um, none of this stuff, you, you don't unlock any of this stuff to start with, or this, or this. Um, but because of the weird way that the research carries over, um, I have them unlocked. I'm going to make a straw hat. Look very fetching in that. And so, yeah. Nearly done. This is the clock, and it just it just tells you what time it is, obviously. Um, whether it's day or night. This little blue bit here is the night time. This is twilight. This is day. So the day is quite a lot longer than the night, but um, it's still quite a short cycle. Um, you can make fire pits, which are more permanent fires. Um, they don't burn out automatically um, after that amount of time. So, yeah, it's dawn now, and I'll end this video here. That's the quick save logo up there. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time.